Hello, this is Alex Ramsey, host of Night of the Batman, with a review of the next episode in the Batman the Animated series called The Forgotten. Now, before I start, let me again just have like a little brief talk about just like the general idea of this episode. It's similar to the last one in one way in that the villain in it is not really the focal point of it. He's just sort of, he's a villain and he does his function. He's not a great villain. He's just there just to sort of get the ball rolling like the last one was. And um, for this episode, I think it worked to have a smaller villain anyway. I think that just like before, if you had someone else, it just wouldn't make sense with any other villain. Um, this is more about um, this is an episode more about Bruce than it is about him like crime fighting or anything. It's more about him just rediscovering stuff, which I'll get to when I do the summary. Okay, now the summary. Um, it starts out with Bruce visiting this place where they have the shelter of the homeless and one of the guys saying that works there saying that a lot of the homeless people have been disappearing he thinks someone might have been maybe kidnapping them and taking them so um Bruce goes and investigates and um gets beaten up pretty badly and loses his memory um before before he loses his memory though he puts on a disguise so that he can blend in and when he comes to later on, he doesn't remember anything. He um, meets two other guys, and they have to do work with a bunch of other homeless people there. And basically, the whole episode is him just rediscovering, rediscovering who he is, which is really cool. I mean, that's but that's cooler than it actually sounds. I'll, I'll get to that and like the pros and cons of why that's so cool. Okay, um, the pros. Well, first off, this is a pretty great story. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it for the most part, but only just for him rediscovering that, and also for Alfred, he um, drives the the bat plane since he can't find Bruce, and that's uh, one of the really funny parts of this episode. I really enjoyed that. Um, but yeah, um, there's this one particular scene I really like where he has Bruce has this nightmare where. He's in this room full of mirrors, and he sees the reflection of his actual self, and it starts laughing at him, and turns into the Joker and grabs him, and they fall into, like, the depths of, like, the city, which I thought was really cool, and just, like, a really cool thing. Then he has uh, other flashbacks about um, his parents' death and everything. It's a pretty great episode. There's not a lot that I can really say that's bad about it. I mean, it's not... It's not a terrible episode, but it's still pretty good. I mean, it's not the greatest episode. I guess I could say that. Okay, cons. Again, it's not the greatest episode, but the stuff in it is... Some of the stuff in it is really good and elevates it to a pretty good episode. But don't get me wrong. It's no... Like, it's not the best episode of the series. It's just an enjoyable episode. Um... And... Yeah, there's um, not really that much wrong with it. This is a shorter review than I think I originally meant it to be. I guess I really just don't have a lot to say about this episode. I mean, it's a good episode. It's just it's, it's not that deep, I guess. Um, so if I were to rate it on my five-point system, I'd give it like a three out of five, which means it's pretty good. There's good story, good... um. Good, just like segments in it that make it a good episode. Um, I guess that's about it. Uh, yeah, that's about it. So I hope you enjoyed this. Um, please watch the next one if you want to. If you enjoyed this one, comment below, like it, subscribe. Um, and I'm glad you listened. Uh, I'll be here next week with the ne- next week probably in a while, but I'll be back soon with, um, the next episode in Batman the Animated Series, um,